in this part we are going to design the header of this particular invoice so in last video we have seen how we can generate the pdf file if you have not seen that part you must you can click on the i button or i will provide in the description of this video so let's start with this one so first thing that you can see here what i'm going to do so i will going to create a table and that table uh, you can see so that table will consist of two columns the first column that i will have of this size and the second column will have of this size so you can see the first column having the size of double of the uh, second one so it's a kind of double size that i'm going to provide so let's jump back to the code and see how we can write that one so first thing that i'm going to make a column so right now we'll remove this part and we will make the column so the first thing that i will define the size of the column each column the same size we required uh, in the future also so i will create the uh, variable of that one and float to call 150 so one to call 150 is the addition of i'm adding 150 on the previous one now i am going to create the uh, float array because in the table we need to provide the array of so to column width equal to we can provide it here to column 50 and to column so this is the width of each column the first column will have this width what we can say that is 285 plus 150 that is around uh, 435 so i will create a table and here i will pass the width so what this means like means here we have provided uh, two element in the array which means the table will have two cell cell means like uh, here you can see these are this is the first cell and this one is the second cell so that we want so that's why we have provided only two column if we require to generate a three column that we have in here in three here we have three column so at that particular time we need to provide one more element in, in this one so at that particular time it, it is going to create a three three column in a single table single row so table is created with two column so each column we need to add so the first i will add add cell means it is going to add the column now i will add this cell so this is the difference i was talking about like if you can see here there are three functions but if you go to the uh, if you try to add the 7.21 you will not be able to find this third third one that we required as of now so we are using the string simple string so that you are not going to find in the latest version of this one so that's it from this one like means this is the what we required and then what we need to do is like means we need to add this table in the document so document i will add this table in the document so now the table is added to the documents you uh, here i have created a table and the, here i have added the table in the documents so if i save this project and then i will run this one it is going to create the uh, it is going to update that pdf Let, let's write some else out so that we can find pdf generated so if i open the pdf file you can see invoice and you can see there is a border of this one and there will be second cell is not yet created so it's not coming so what i will do first i will add the second cell here also second cell 
and now I will generate the file you might be seeing this error that we are getting this warning we are getting it here so in the next video we are going to solve that problem also so first see how it's looking whatever means we have created so this is what we are expecting so if you can see the image this is what here it is first one and second one is coming in this place so first thing that we need to remove the border so for that one we can set border border no border so what it is going to do it is going to remove the border of the table so if i run here on this program then you can see border will be removed so yeah so this border is removed now i need to make this invoice as a bold one and then i need to add this two means uh, what i can say here there are four things so first is invoice number and there is some time some value of that one their invoice date and some value so what i can do i can make one more table inside this table which will have two row two column and two rows so how i'm going to do so first thing that i will make this invoice as a bold so for making bold i will write state bold and for the second part what i can do i can create one more table nested table right now i'm uh, passing the direct value of like i will provide the direct loop from here only so what i'm going to do is so if you can see uh, in the first this area so this is uh, the width of this one is two call so here you can see the two call with the width so we want to break into two part so what that we can provide by using this one to call divided by two so it is going to make so it's showing some error so let's see yeah so here you can see this is of type float so so nested table and this nested table what i can see what i, I will add necessary cell on that one so this table also consists of two cells so first cell will have this um, invoice number and invoice date and i will copy the same in this line second line and here i will provide the data of that one so i can provide anything and the second one is invoice date so here i will provide and i will make this as a bold set bold and this one as also as a bold and i will add this table into the so rather than creating a cell i will simply create one table and that table i will add it here so i have created this nested table and i added this nested table here and i also set the border as a no border no border So let's look how it's looking if i rerun this code again let's see this voice invoice file here you can see but there are border that still it's coming so we need to remove the border from that one so for that 
so to remove the border we need to set set border and then border no border so that uh, this border thing we need to do in each cell so in each cell we need to write this set border and now let's rerun, rerun this one so here you still you can see one border that is coming from the cell so still uh, for that we can write like uh, this so we need to add the cell here so i will add the cell here so that that border is coming from the cell that's why i'm putting it inside the cell so that we can remove the cell border so right now that uh, table that i have done okay not here i need to do the add and then here i will paste so right now i have put uh, the nested table inside the cell and in the that cell i am removing the border so let's try and just regenerate the and see whether it's working fine or not if i can see now yeah now it's working so a little bit of modification still i need to do so first thing that i need to do increase the font so i will increase the font size of that one so font size will be 20f and then i need to remove the board bold part from this one the value is not bold so i will take the value the whatever the value that i have in the sample so I will rerun and just see whether it's working same as what we have done in the sample one so yeah exactly whatever what we did in the sample it's exact same so after that uh, you can if you can see there is a line so that line is a kind of table with border so what i can i will do i will make one border first border so this is how we can make a custom border so right now i am making a solid border whose color will be gray gray color and the width will be around width will be around 1.5 or width we can keep as a 2 we will see how it will look and then we can move ahead so i'm thinking like means the border will be 1f by 2f so i'm keeping the half half float like 0.5 gray gray border then i will create one table name it as divider equal to new table then then i will keep as a full width So that uh, value value variable also I need to create. Yeah, 
this is also a float array so I will take one more variable float three calls so that I'm going to use it in the further so in the description if you can see here we have a different column value set so this is 90 this is 90 and this is 90 so because of that I am taking this 190 and same thing I will use it here so this means like uh, the full width means it will take the entire area and the high width will be multiple of three three times of this one now I have the full width and simply what I will do provider dot set border I will add the border here and same thing I will add in the document so now the first table is added this table which consists of this one and then after I have made one divider that is also a table that is also added so each time so that I need to add after that one because otherwise it will appear before the table so let, let's regenerate this one yes so divider width is bit low so let, let's change the divider width so what I will do I will change it to 2f and then see whether it's looking the same as it is so yeah it's same as what we want so that's it from this particular part so in the next part we will see how we can make this billing information and product information so next part will consist of these three so so and also i will not going to make this thing uh, in one every cell i will not going to create like this so in the next part i will uh, create a function that is going to create all this so uh, only thing i need to pass this text and that's it it, it is going to create me a cell so thank you for watching this